So the audio tool is pretty self-explanatory, but I want to point out some of the other little features in here that are kind of cool. The audio tool is essentially just your VU monitors. That's what it looks like. But actually, there's quite a bit more to it. For example, click on PH here, the peak hold menu, and you can see that there's a, a number of choices. You can change your input settings, which basically gets you to the same audio project settings that are in your project folder. Same thing for output settings. And it also allows you to play calibration tone, a set reference level, set calibration tone, and also create tone media. So if you're going to create bars, for example, you want bars and tone in your project, if you click on create tone media, you can see that you can choose the actual level that you want it. Some people like negative 14 or negative 12. Some people like negative 20. You can set that. You can set the frequency of your tone media here to 1,000. That's pretty typical for tone. If you wanted to set it to 440, you could do that. The length of the tone media the number of tracks of media you want, and also what hard drive you want them to go to. Obviously, I want them to go to my media drive, not to my internal hard drive. There's also a couple of tricks about, I believe if you set this to negative 999, you get pink noise, which is similar to white noise. So if you're looking for static or just kind of a shh sound, you can uh, reset this. There's, it's kind of a little Easter egg of resetting this to get that, but we're just going to leave it at 1000 so that we get a tone. And as I click OK, you'll see that in my bin, hidden behind the audio tool here, is a new clip called Tone. And if I play it, there's Tone, and I can cut that into a sequence just as if it was music or anything else. So that's a little bit about the audio tool.